by Sudhakar K. He plans to invest 1 lakh rupees every year in sovereign gold bonds and over the next 15 years, will it be able to beat inflation? I was looking at this question and you know, <clears throat> I looked at, you know, at value research online, I went to the fund which has the longest history, mm -hmm. which is now called, uh, you know, uh, Nippon uh, Gold uh, Bees. So that is an ETS and uh, longest history. And if you would have done an SIP in this fund, you would have made, uh, you know, if you would have invested at the outset, you will, you would have earned about a uh, little over 10%, which is a very handsome return. You have beaten the inflation. But when I look at the last 10 years and your SIP return, you invested and your money did not earn any return mm. for the first 11 years. All the return that has come in the last four years. And uh, which means that gold has turned out to be a very erratic investment. Not only that, you know, when I look at the worst performing periods for gold funds, mm -hmm. this particular fund itself, which has the longest history, the worst week performance return was minus 13% gold prices can go down by 13% in a week's time. The worst annual return in the life of the fund, the worst 365 days, was from 28th August 2013 to 28th August 2014. It fell by 20%. The point is that most people have this innate sense that, you know, investing in gold, so it's gold. Uh, it's not gold, it's just another asset which has become volatile. In fact, gold is not supposed to be beating inflation. It has nothing in its character which is supposed to beat inflation because you know, to beat inflation, it should be linked to real economy. Mm. This thing actually sits in your locker. The primary driver for gold is demand supply, seasonal supply, central bankers buying, so that is one. And the other, the only occasion when gold is actually fancied asset, when there is, you know, blood on the street, the fixed income is actually, market is crashing mm. and uh, people are scared of equity, people are worried about fixed income because there could be bankruptcy, they may not get their money back, you know, they have invested in a bank deposit or, you know, bonds and things mm. like that. So when there is calamity, gold gets fancied. And I think, you know, if you are positive about the future of the world, if you're optimistic, you should not be investing in gold. Look at gold as a consumption. You feel happy about it. There are a lot of ceremonial opportunity when you actually can show off and actually feel happy that uh, you, you own this asset. And it could well be a jewelry is a form which can actually come in in a very lean time uh, in your personal context. But uh, I don't think one should look at it as an investment, as a long-term investment. All right. So one can actually skip sovereign gold bonds as well.